According to the National Peanut Board, peanuts were grown primarily in South Carolina in the 19th century, but were regarded as food for livestock and the poor. Because the crop was hand harvested and prepared, well, you could count on stems and leaves and various garden trash in your peanuts, making for a not so attractive snack. And it wasn't until the Civil War that the peanut actually gained some notoriety. Soldiers traveling through the South came to rely on it as a food source and they took it home with them. At the turn of the century, planting and harvesting saw the light of mechanization. And soon you could enjoy a bag of peanuts on street corners. A noted botanist George Washington Carver, well, he began researching the peanut at Tuskegee Institute in the early part of the 20th century and found no less than 300 uses for the little legume. I planted peanuts here because I wanted the children to see this special crop and because, well, I can because we're in zone 6 here in Pennsylvania which means we have the four months of growing time necessary to cultivate the peanut. Now it's time to get my few plants out of the ground so let's dig them up and see how we did this year. Now ideally you leave your peanuts in the ground until the green leaves turn yellow then dig the entire plant out before the first hard frost. We had a couple of frosts this week so I hope our peanuts pulled through. Look, I see one already. Look at that. Spat <laughs> out. Peanuts. Isn't that something? Now we just want to gently shake the dirt from the plant and then set these aside. Look at that, they're huge! What a neat surprise. Wow, they are so big. Great year for peanuts. They're a lot bigger than I thought they would be. Now who was the first one to discover this? Who would look at that? and know that that was waiting underground. There we go. All right, last one. Oh, it's a big one. Now with the peanut plants, you do take the entire plant out of the ground and gently shake the dirt off because the next step, we're going to bind all of these together and dry the entire plant for two weeks. So this is one peanut plant grown from one peanut. And typically you'll get about 40 peanuts per plant, if you're lucky. Wow, look at that.
Our peanuts are all bound together. I'm going to hang this in a warm, dry spot in the house, probably close to our wood stove, for about 10 days to two weeks. At the end of that time, I'm going to come back and take off each one of the peanuts, place the peanuts on a newspaper, and leave them to dry again for another two weeks. Once we're done with that, then I'm going to roast them. 350 degrees in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Peanuts.